Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, the video is going to be all about hearing protection. Now, there's two types of hearing protection. The type that you put in your ears, like earplugs, and these ones. Now, I prefer these ones, and I'm going to discuss just for a minute. Now, I got a new one here. I got a new set of earmuffs right here. And uh, I'm going to show you what they are. But first, let's go over to the bench here and show you some of the, the tools, just some of them that you have to actually have hearing protection for and are these good enough? Well let's just take a look at the first one. This is my uh, leaf blower. Definitely you need hearing protection for this. Now you got your angle grinder. Now this is a cordless angle grinder and you know what? Yeah you gotta have hearing protection for this. And all these air tools. These are the worst I find is the impact air impact tools and high speed grinders and surprisingly just an air nozzle just blowing air can cause a lot of ear damage from noise and there's various types of noise out there I'm not an oleologist uh, but uh, we're going to explore this set right here and uh, why I bought them so no I am not an oleologist audiologist well I'm not a medical practitioner of the ears but I have taken courses on health and safety um, these were mandatory courses when I used to work at General Motors now just for a little point of reference when I worked at General Motors I had access to the best hearing protection in the world so in a lot of places that I worked it was mandatory that you had to wear the hearing protection so I'm going to show you these ones right here. Now, they come all wrapped up and everything else. If I can ever get into them. Now these were $12. So, I know what you're thinking. Why can't you get into that bag? So why would you buy like a $12 set of hearing protection? When you can see some out there are so much more expensive and a lot of people will say, you know what, they're so much better, right? So this is the pair right here. And of course, come on, these are just hair and protection, right? I mean, you stick them on your ears and that's it. Now when I'm talking to you, I can still hear myself. So I want to ask you all a question right now. Have you ever thought about this? Because I have taken courses on hair and protection. Can you have too much hair and protection? absolutely there's some hair and protection in certain spots is banned because I've wore hair and protection I have any of you ever experienced this I have wore some hair and protection where all you could hear was yourself breathe and you can actually hear the impulses of your arteries actually pumping blood and you know you're thinking to yourself okay so why would that be a bad thing well, it's actually just for safety. Because a lot of times, if you're working in a particular spot, and, uh, well, if somebody were to try and warn you of an impending danger, like, get out of there, the ceiling's falling down, you won't hear a thing, right? So you have to match your hearing protection to the job that you're actually doing. In my particular shop here, I turn my air compressor on, I put my hearing protection on until it fills the tank up. Then I got my table saw, I always wear my hearing protection, my chop saw, anything that makes a lot of noise I use. Now when I retired from General Motors, we were all forced, before I retired, to go see an ear specialist and have a hearing test. And my hearing is perfect, absolutely perfect, because I always wore my hearing protection. If you see a little placard that says, hearing protection must be worn, well you know what, it's a good idea to wear it. But I see a lot of people today, no, they just say, ah, you know, this style here, a lot of people can say, yeah, that's too hot, and you know, this kind of, well, you can buy the earplugs too, and you can fit them in. Now, I did wear earplugs at one time. They sent me to this place, and they got custom fit, you know, earplugs. And they are just awesome. You know, they're just, just awesome to have. But I prefer this style here. Now, take, for instance, this particular set here is only good for... 23 decibel and that means 23 decibel deduction 
So whatever the noises that you hear, the decibel rating of whether most machinery or anything you buy today from a leaf blower to whatever, there are going to be instructions on there about hearing protection and how many decibels, say, the leaf blower will put out. And this will reduce it by 23. And for most, not all, but for most pieces of equipment, yeah, even the hearing protection is not always required because they'll always say that, you know, you could, you could have this particular piece of machinery run for, say, up to four hours without hearing protection, but after four hours you must wear it, this kind of thing. So you have to do your own homework. But the worst tool that I've ever run across that I find that you really need hearing protection is a concrete drill. Man, the screeching and noise that you get out of that is just, well, your ears are going to be ringing forever if you, you know, if you don't wear any hearing protection. So these were 12 bucks. Now, the reason why I don't need to go with anything better than that is because I use these for, say, four or five years, I go get another one, because they do kind of deteriorate over time. But when I'm riding my Kubota tractor, it is quite loud. Or even my, uh, my lawn tractor. Um, it's quite loud. But you know what? If I were to wear the really good stuff where I can't hear nothing, well, something could be happening with the machinery that I'm using, whether my rotary cutter or the tractor itself. You could, you know, something could be happening to it and you'd never know. So that's why you got to kind of match your hearing protection to it. And you know, something like this for $12. I tell you what, I bet you there's a lot of people watching this video right now that don't wear hearing protection. And how many times do you have to talk to somebody before you can figure out that they don't understand really what you're saying because over the years they haven't worn any hearing protection and, well, they're half deaf, right? And I've run across so many people in my life that just found it was too inconvenient. But now that they're my age, you know, they're always saying to you, what? What'd you say? Speak up and this kind of stuff. Instead of just going... I mean, how long are you going to be operating, you know, especially like a concrete drill? You're not going to be on that all day. The average homeowner might drill four or five holes here and there. But man, the noise that comes out of that is just incredible. So I just thought I'd bring that up today and just remind a lot of people that hearing protection is, is one of these things that so many people just don't think about. And I'd like to make a video and just remind people that, yeah... The things that you don't hear in the future are the kind of things that you wish you could. So thanks for joining me here today. And if you've never seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again. And let's have some more fun investigating stuff like hearing protection. You know, all kinds of different things that I find interesting. Cheers.